I haven't been on this game for a minute. Bear with me if I'm fucking ass at the game, all right? The gameplay is not gonna be good, but listen, the commentary is gonna be good. So I got a whole bunch of shit to talk about. Well, uh, I'll try my best to summarize it down in a short form way. Most of you guys have already seen this fucking bullshit over here. All right, the roadmap. I just want to go through this shit real quick with y'all. There's new events. There's Call of Duty 2023 reveal event. They got the multiplayer maps over here. Um, actually, I do like this. I do like this. They're adding more variety into the maps. They're adding new game modes. I like this. This, I like this. And then some DMZ boring shit. I'm liking the fact that they're adding these new maps, new varieties, new game modes and all this shit. But listen, man, you added these stuff way too late into the Call of Duty thing. You got season one kind of going on like a little incline. And then like mid-season one, you just want to like, Aah! just like downhill, dude. They got new weapons. You got the FFAR, which is coming back. Uh, I don't know why the fuck it's coming back to an MW2 game. Actually, five new guns that are going to be three in season and then two in the battle pass, which is going to be very nice. This is the part where I kind of like just fucking bland. So you got 50 years of hip hop uh, celebration, all right? You got Snoop Dogg, you got Nicki Minaj, and then obviously you got 21 Savage. If you guys have seen on the Call of Duty vlogs, they posted that 21 Savage is gonna be in season. What really fucking pisses me off is that Nicki Minaj does not have a yeah. There's no correlation to the real life Nicki Minaj to this shit. If I pull up a fucking closer image of this fucking bitch, it does not look similar! It's not similar at all. And then you got Snoop Dogg over here, which is another breadwinner type of fucking thing. You added this shit into fucking Vanguard, then you want to add it back into MW2. Listen, bro. I'm talking the maddest fucking shit right now. Listen, Snoop Dogg over here is a fucking breadwinner, bro. Nicki Minaj will not sell, and 21 Savage will not sell as much as fucking Snoop Dogg. I guarantee fucking to you. Nicki Minaj won't have the fucking get, and 21 Savage will just be like, uh, 21. I don't get it how they would add Snoop Dogg back into the fucking game. And they also have the Black Cell Battle Pass up. Nobody gives a fuck. Shadow Company theme skins. And you got these new Battle Pass skins that just adds a little bit more to the roadmap. That's what they're literally trying to do here. Who wants to see fucking DMZ disguises and fucking scuba gas masks on the fucking roadmap? Who gives a shit about the DMZ? Who cares about DMZ? Be serious. Who gives a fuck? about scuba gas masks. All this is coming August 2nd, which, listen, bro, I need I need some COD points for next season's Battle Pass. I'm not trying to fucking buy this shit. All I'm saying is that Call of Duty is just making so much fucking bread off of the remakes and the re- Like, like it came to a point to where they remade Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 into a shittier version, and then they're remaking a fucking skin again and again and again and again. They're doing the same thing with Ghost. They're doing the same thing with Captain Price, but they're doing the same shit with fucking Snoop Dogg. Uh, you could have added, like, Ice Cube in to there. Snoop Dogg's gonna make the most money out of like Nicki Minaj and fucking 21 Savage because 21 Savage ain't gonna do shit. I can't believe people are gonna be hopping back onto this game just to play as Snoop Dogg and Nicki Minaj and 21 Savage. Like I've seen people on fucking Twitter talk about oh I'm gonna finally hop back onto this game because I get to play as Nicki Minaj and 21 Savage. You can't even look at 21 and Nicki Minaj. You're in first person. How the fuck make it make sense? Like do are you, are you really that down bad to fucking hear Nicki Minaj say double kill? What's on Twitter really fucking going back to this game just because of that like yo kill you no i'm just like really degrading fucking call of duty right now i'm like hating on call of duty a lot but like dude it's not the same as like it was before dude like nothing's really just hitting in the fucking game man come up with something a little bit better i mean these reveal events i will say the reveal events are very good i i like the reveal events that they do hypes up the next game and stuff like that oh my god that guy just tried to do a 360 so i believe this video is going to be coming out like saturday morning so then my predictions can be be way earlier than the actual fights in UFC because I'm gonna be talking about UFC. Yeah, yeah, guys. Look, the prelims are looking very nice. I like it. I like it a lot, and I like the main pay per view. This is this is a pay per view that you'd actually want to buy. I mean, Strikeout.ws is just my jam. On the prelims, we got Derek Lewis versus uh, Marcos, the Brazilian guy. Obviously, Derek Lewis has been on a fucking losing streak. I, I remember last time I rooted for him, I did not get it correct. With this fight, I don't even know who the fuck Marcos is, so I have no fucking clue. I mean, I guess I'll go for Derek Lewis because I've seen him way more than Marcos. I mean, now I'm next on the prelims. You have uh, just irrelevant. You got Michael Chiesta versus Kevin Hall and Michael Chiesta has pulled out of fucking fights a lot because of his fucking back. Bro, back is broken. I love Kevin Hall. I really do see him in the top five ranks pretty soon. What's this fight at? Welterweight? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin Hall. Kevin Hall 100%. But Michael Chiesta brings the fucking fight to the ground? I, I don't know, but listen, Kevin Hall has a black belt in fucking jiu-jitsu, so I mean, he he should be nice, right? I mean, with that Hamza Chimaya fight, that didn't seem too well. <laughs>
So obviously I'm gonna go for Kevin Holland. And then we got El Kakui, Tony Ferguson. I love this guy. Versus Bobby Green. I can't lie to you. Tony Ferguson seems that like he's coming back into like his old era. Where he's like, I don't give a fuck about anybody. I don't give a shit. The way that he's been rocking right now, I, I kind of fuck with it, bro. I kind of fuck with it. According to Tony Ferguson, he's around his prime. So yeah, I'm rooting for Tony Ferguson on this one. I really do want to see Tony Ferguson get a dub. You know how many smiles that I'll put on people's face? Like, bro, I would be genuinely so fucking happy. Like, I'd be more happy than a fucking black. And then up next, we got Steven Thompson versus Michael Pierre. This was supposed to be on the prelims, but then got switched into the main card, which is a very good thing. This is going to be a very interesting fight because Steven Thompson is a karate type of guy. Michael Pierre just goes fucking crazy in the ring. Like, he would fucking bounce off the walls and shit. Like, look, 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 look. He'd be doing this shit. Like, whoo! Like this type of shit. I'm going for my fucking boy Steven Wonderboy Thompson. Now we got in the co-main event Jan Blahovich versus Alex Pereira. I believe that this fight should honestly be main event. But hey, I'm not complaining. Listen, Jan Blahovich versus Alex Pereira. Jan Blahovich is very, very crazy, man. With the last match that he had in the octagon was just crazy, dude. The way that he was leg kicking his opponent. Shin to shin! Wait, Alex Pereira, don't get me wrong. He has very good leg kick. Very sneaky leg kick. I don't think this fight goes, like, through round two. I'm reckon Alex Pereira is just gonna get annihilated, dude, in my opinion. Yeah, so for my pick, I'm gonna go Jan Blahovich. I believe Jan Blahovich is gonna capitalize on this opportunity very, very well. And up next, we got for the BMF belt, Dustin Poirier versus Justin Gaethje, baby. This is their second fight. I'm kind of leaning towards, like, Dustin. Listen, man, if you guys haven't checked out the Minecraft video that I posted before, this. I'd very, very appreciate it if you check it out. I put in a whole bunch of fucking work into that video, especially with the fucking titles, the captions, the editing, all that fucking bullshit. I put in a whole bunch of work. I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys go check that shit out. I put in a whole bunch of work into my uh, in, into these videos as well. Not saying that, like, I don't put in work in, like, to these cutcom types of videos. I sometimes make these special videos to where it's like, you know, I, 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 I put a little bit more effort into those videos than my normal videos because they have more purpose to them. Like, I'm gonna be very transparent with you guys. These types of videos like take me around like five and a half hours to like edit and then get the thumbnail done and show like that i'm really passionate into making content creation so also i do wa really want to say thank you guys for 600 subscribers to the channel and uh yeah boys that's all i gotta say peace hey, oh shit fuck